There's a disturbing thing in society and culture that, of course, has been brewing and still continues to brew. Um, this is nothing new, but it's something that I'm noticing catching on more and more to a point that, um, you know, getting a little more concerned. But, you know, signs of the times, perhaps, for this country. I mean, I'm only in one small pocket of the United States, and the United States is only one small pocket in the entire world. But, um... This thing is, is, what I'm noticing is where we, this phenomenon of a minority, an extreme minority of people dictating uh, their viewpoints onto others. And, of course, this almost 100% of the time is by some sort of media sway um, based on a ultra-liberalized, nutty, hypocritical, and relativistic dogma um, to protect it, you know, um, you know, then then it starts to become a little concerning, um, you know, and and even the nutty liberals represent a small small minority because uh, there's lots of regular liberals that will e agree with me on this, uh, and if you get out in society and talk with people and rub shoulders with people, you have a normal social life. Most people are against PC culture. They're against all the crazy stories you're hearing about where people getting their rights infringed upon and getting taken to court for things like, uh, you know, the Christian bakery or, uh, you know, like, oh, you said this on social media, now you must lose your job sort of thing. Um, you know, and it used to just be internet-based, ba and that's where it started and that's where it ended. But now I'm seeing it out in the public square in single occupancy bathrooms um, at Starbucks, at Panera Bread, a bunch of other places. I'm seeing a sign that e either has this, uh, it says all genders spelled out or it has the symbol of the man and then the, you know, this with a slash mark and the symbol of the girl with, you know, the little triangular dress or whatever um, to indicate both genders can go. And I don't know where this started. I think this, I remember some incident back with um, Target and, you know, supposedly some pedophile was behind it. That's another concern. It's like, okay, what, what are we letting in the door besides the transgender people? But also pedophiles who are just pretending that they're transgender to do whatever. Um, but anyway, not to get on that. It's just, you know, this costs money and time and energy resources basically to these companies whether they're mom and pop shops or because i've seen it in a few of those too or their franchises where they have to do it at multiple shops so it costs them basically money because time is money energy is money uh it costs them all of that to to place and to make those new placards and, and i don't know man like what what is the backlash that these people and companies are afraid of Where's this fear coming from? We're maybe paying too much attention to the media. How about who cares what a mi minority of the people think? I mean, transgender people, I think, is like 0.3% or I don't even know where they get the statistics, but it's a very, very small minority. And so why do we care what a minority of the twisted people of society or arguably... <clears throat> mentally ill people in society think uh, and and then go ahead and let them dictate for the rest of us how things run it's just it's like i said it runs along the same vein of bowing down and folding our cards and giving up our freedoms of speech and pandering to the pc culture all this for some fear of fallout in the form of losing your job or you know something you said and litigious violence in court because really that's what it all boils down to it's violence in the form of like hey a robber putting a gun to you and saying, run your pockets. You're wanting to take away my livelihood by having my... I demand they lose their job at this whatever company, <laughs> you know, or, you know, they they lose their, their baker, baker bakery shop, like I said in that earlier example. Um, yeah, that's basically what it is. Well, whatever happened to sticks and stones, you know? And even if you can identify an evil intent in the person's heart of someone who says something vile, 
it's still just words. And oftentimes they will misinterpret what a person says. I think many times purposefully misinterpret. Um, but they're still just words. And they want to do, instead go beyond hypocrisy and then cause actual violence to a person's life in the form of taking away their livelihood. Um, so, yeah, but back to the bathroom thing. I, I think most people are, are just going with the flow. They don't want to rock the boat of their own comfortable life that they're living right now. And, and this is why they're just, you know, giving it up for just a small percentage. Huh. Anyway, just a thought rolling around in my head again. Any thoughts below? I would like to hear them.